Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Resident Evil 3 and recording it all on VHS. Last time, we fought Nemesis and, and you know, uh, we fought him a couple times. We died a couple times. Times were ahead. They sure were ahead. Trying not to bring any of that frustration in, but man, it, uh, oh boy. Uh, yeah, Jill's not in the best of shape right now because I... I'm trying to get around this piano for one. Um, trying to conserve healing items right now, and that's not the direction I want to go. All right, I was listening with inventory right before starting up, so if I check my inventory a few times, make sure I didn't like you know leave anything crucial behind. Uh, please excuse that. So yeah, uh, last time we fought Nemesis as. Carlos, and then we fought Nemesis as Jill. We got ourselves a new gun based off of the parts. It's fine. Um, before starting recording, I was experimenting with some of the um, ammo nonsense. And apparently, like, after you mix things enough, you can start mixing enhanced ammo. But that can't be used with the Eagle. It can only be used with the base gun and some other gun that I don't have. So all in all, I have just loaded my save back up. <sighs> we still have a great big pile of gunpowder in our chest. Hooray, another save point. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if that's a hint. Should we be taking the mine thrower into what I believe is the next boss fight? I'm taking that as a hard yes. <laughs> There we go. The zombies are attacking. Alright, just because I have done a bunch of inventory management things, I'm just going to go ahead and save now. <laughs> we also then don't need to run, you know, all the way over here. Yes, I'm fairly certain we are walking directly into yet another boss fight. You know, some days you're just tired of zombies and their nonsense. And it sounds like there's a big old truck outside. Hopefully it is not coming across in the audio. Oh, come on. Oh, 
I'm going to die instantly. so much. Okay. Let's actually have a look around now. Granted, there's probably nothing here and I just wasted ammo, surely, much like me taking out the zombies, but man, I was just so done with zombies. <laughs> Okay, so, like, legitimately, I really hate hunters. Like, I... <sighs> I don't know how I feel about them, like, purely design-wise. You know, I don't want to deal with you right now. Um... Like, design-wise, they're fast, they hit hard, they're... They're meant to do, essentially, what, you know, the, like, sprinting zombies did. Um, and I've never played, like, classic Resident Evil 1. I've only I've only ever played, like, the, the remake. Um, so I'm not sure how Hunters felt there. It's park map. Cool. That's a big old park. It would appear to be under construction beyond this point. Oh man, look at this nice little stash. Alright, I feel better. Please dump your trash in the trash can. I feel much better about the control panel for the fountain. Hmm, okay. There's... There we go. Let's see where the fountain changes based on the combination of the gears. Interesting. Alright. I'm sure there's more to that. We're going to run stuff back. I feel better about... Well, I'm going to finish the sentence finally. Uh, I feel better about killing those zombies um, on the way here because I'm just running things back to the item box. Okay, do, 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 do. let's... Mm. Alright, you know what? Let's actually do some of this ammo mixing nonsense. Assuming I can menu correctly. So... 
I did look up a guide on this because it's basically, you know, I asked somebody, hey, should I do this on camera? And they were like, no. So, apparently if you mix things up, uh, like basic ammo seven times, then you can start making enhanced ammo. But the enhanced ammo can only be used with uh, this gun and one other gun. I don't know what other handgun that is, but it cannot be used with the eagle. So... I don't like this loadout. That is a very full inventory. I don't like it. I'm rolling with it because I need to. Anyhow. Um, and, like, the more of the same letter you mix together, basically, you get... <laughs> there was a hospital here, but it's gone now. Um... the more mixing you do, like, every time you actually create bullets, it increases like your, uh, quote-unquote level with the mixing stuff. So, like, mixing one gunpowder A gives me right now 15 bullets, and then mixing two gunpowder A's together gives me 35 bullets. Mixing three gunpowder A's together gives me, I think, 55. Um... But after I mix three times, then I start getting, like, 17, 36, I don't know. Um, some different set of numbers. But if I mix seven bullets of type A, then I can start making enhanced bullets, which supposedly deal more damage. When I was messing around with it, it didn't seem to be all that much better. Oh, hey, there's a five there. All right, let's review. Okay. That... That's a questionable color choice for things. Like, it makes these look disabled, non-interactable. Okay, so we have essentially a sliding block puzzle, but with gears instead. My problem right now is I don't know what my goal is. And I can't just leave this menu. Okay, there we go. That is a clear goal. Alright, so the trick to any sliding block puzzle, by the way, is just to treat it like you're just rotating. Like, it's always about rotating things into place. So, we just want this, but flipped around. So we want to flip those, flip that, and then scoot.
Oh boy. It's our favorite. Ah, uh, worm leech things. Okay, yeah, we are in for a boss fight. See the pool of blood. Didn't react to bullets though. All sorts of graves. That's unfortunate. We're just going to wait here. There we go. Seems we need a key that is probably from the opposite direction. Really wish there were more green herbs. If only I had, say, about two. Oh, jeez. Snakes. Leeches, whatever they are. Annoying is what they are. <sighs> yeah, they seem to be spoiling me with red herbs, but it's just like, I need... I need some green herbs, my dudes. coast is clear, so we're just going to run the red herbs back to the box real quick. I'm playing much more defensively this week. I think I'm just tired of dying. <laughs> Okay, so I did see that there's a save point on the other side. Of the graveyard. So we're going to leave behind. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to leave behind the mine thrower. We'll pick it up before we go into boss fight. Because I'm fairly certain the boss fight comes after you have a chance to go across to the other side. 
Again, I haven't played this since high school, but like I have seen some speedruns, and I do remember this boss fight and like where it takes place because it's kind of I don't know the park is the park feels different from like every part of the city, I guess. So it just has that like stand out. It probably helps that like, like the color schemes around here are also different. Like it's all green and blue as opposed to kind of the grays of the city. And you know, almost everywhere else we've been has been on fire or have eventually caught on fire. I see you over there. Camera transition zombie. And there's your blood. You know, actually stopping to shoot zombies just tears through your ammo. Who would have thought? Dogs. He's holding something. Written order to the supervisors. Mission requirements. Bravo 16. 1. Obtain the secure sample of all the information pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCS. Destroy all the evidence, including the me medical facility, that has the medical treatment data. 3. Check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced to where it belongs. Hooray, Magnum Bullets. It's locked. Yes, it's locked. <laughs> no trespassing beyond, um, trespassing beyond this point. Alright, cool. We got our key. We got some bullets. The way is clear. Or at least it was. Hopefully it still is. I'm trying to figure out, like, why I hate hunters, but don't have the same problem with liquors. Because they kind of do the same thing. Like, they both are, you know, a slightly stronger monster that is pretty fast and has, like, a big... <sighs> dang, snake worm things. Like, they, they have their big jump attack that, you know, can kill you if you're in caution. Uh, I think one of the big things is that in the case of liquors, they have a longer 
like wind up animation. So it doesn't feel as cheap, I guess. Like hunters are just there. There's firewood, which w could catch on fire. All right. And yes, there's all sorts of stuff to pick up in there. We will. But first, save room. A dried up, a dried up pumpkins are placed here. Ah, oh, yes. Good old healing. But yeah, like I think, you know, as far as I recall, anyway. Um, You know, I'm going to put a pin in that mixing of ammo. Let's go grab some stuff. And also hit the mic. Anyway, yeah, like, I think liquors at least have to, like, they have a big stop. They have, like, a very specific audio cue to, hey, they're doing their big jump attack that is going to destroy you and ruin your day. So it's just like, it's telegraphing is what it comes down to. It is a well-telegraphed attack that, you know, still does ridiculous amounts of damage and will ruin your day. Okay, iron pipe. Not entirely sure what I'm going to use that for. But like, hunters just run after you and just continually leap and do this massive damage attack just over and over and over again. And like, if you're not actively running exactly away, then they're going to kill you if you're in caution. Whereas, liquors will stop, yell, say, hey, I'm going to do this attack. And you actually... I know it feels it's better telegraphed and just have like more of a chance to get away from it. And it's you have that. Oh, no, it's coming as opposed to, well, it's already here. Um, sort of effect. Anyway, so uh, the guy I was looking at for ammo mixing did mention that like overall there's 21 gunpowder A's and like 15 gunpowder B's. Um, I don't remember if they said how many C's there are, but like, basically C's are how you can get grenades or magnum bullets. So like, C A is, uh, what is it? C alone is just regular grenade around. C A is fire, C B is acid, C C is ice, and uh, C C C is magnum rounds. This is not what I want. Welcome to inventory management time. So overall, I'm pretty sure that's why I give liquors a pass and like really enjoy them as a creature. Whereas hunters are just like Every time I see him, it's just, come on. <laughs> well, I guess we're done with the later. Neat. That's a 
cool, unique transition. Superfire's report. The endurance ability of the containment contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our prisoners of war and release them, they would return to their units and then turn and then turns into zombies. This game needed another editing pass, I guess. Like, this was the sentence that I had started uh, for that joke death. I mean, I know... This is what was at the end of that. I know that Resident Evil 3 was kind of made under time crunch. Um, so, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them for having, you know, small grammatical errors or just like bits of text that, you know, switch from singular to multiple. It's, it's just kind of a, hmm, ha, oh, look, you know, grammar, ha, 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 but, you know, typos are real easy to miss. Just straight up. Anyway, uh, this plan may work well for us in the future. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is an a, I've heard that there's a giant alligator, but I have only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. I kind of wish that had a date on it. I would really like to know who, like when that was written in terms of all of the... Uh, Hooray, the other parky. Where do things fall in the timeline of Resident Evil? Facts from HQ. Attention. The Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. A drawing... The drawing of Raccoon City. The police station and hospital are marked. It's set to the auto receiver mode. Hey there, chump. Well, hey, more ink ribbons. Okay, so what was his plan here? Like, how does he get into this room and out of it? Hello, grenade rounds so that I'm just walking right by. Right, the other part of mixing ammo is you can just throw powder directly All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. If you throw some gunpowder at uh, grenade rounds, then you can change their type. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. 
Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant! Alright. We have a boss fight. Basically on the other side of that door. Luckily, we are also at a save point. So, uh, handgun, you're probably not going to be that useful. Where's my mine thrower? Because that... Definitely seems to be the weapon of choice for the immediate sense. We'll need that part key, um... Let's try this loadout. Come on. Now the question is, do I want one or two heals? We'll try with one. See how that goes. Cleaning instruments are hung there. That's not a door. <laughs> this is the door. You don't actually reload this weapon automatically. You just have to go into menu to reload. It's really hard. To be fair, I didn't do great. <laughs> Resident Evil 3. Here's the plan. We're going to try 
to beat this boss, and then we'll call it an episode. In terms of Resident Evil bosses, this is a little bit more straightforward, or... It's not the right term for it. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> this should work out better in the end, I think, than Nemesis, because... It is... I don't know, simple, easy words. There are words, and I don't know what they are. I'm expecting this to go better than fighting Nemesis 80 million times and just getting really frustrated at it. Like, I feel like I can dodge. Is that That's what it's coming down to, is I feel like I can actually, you know, do the movement to try to dodge a lot of the attacks. Of course, I could be wrong. That one felt kind of cheap. Okay. Good to know it can kill me from caution. Great, 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 great. Everything's fine and wonderful. Resident Evil 3. All right, kind of salty about that. I thought that was the case. I was hoping that I just hadn't been paying enough attention to my health and that that wasn't going to be the case, but that's the case. It can kill me from caution. Uh, it's a worm-shaped hunter. <laughs> Oh boy. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna fight a bus and we're gonna win. And I'm not going to be made entirely of salt.
Okay. <sighs> Boy, this is not great. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I'm injuring myself with the mind thrower, by the way. Um, and that truly isn't helping. And then that was definitely a case of like trying to squeeze around him and not being able to. And camera just kept changing to just dang it. <laughs> So, again, like, if this were me playing this casually, like, I would still find this frustrating. But the fact that I have, like, a timer going, and I can see exactly how long this is taking, and that I know that, like, I'm putting this out there for people to see, and I'm just struggling with it. Alright, orange caution. We're not going to risk it. We're just going to heal now. Dang it. No.
I feel like I missed a chance for something there. I really feel like I should have been able to electrocute the worm there. But I clearly did something wrong. There we go. I could escape by climbing this fence. Yes. Get me out. Alright. As soon as we get to the next save point, we're done. Oh, come on. Classic question. Do we push forward and hope that they give us somewhere to save immediately? Or do we run backwards? Oh, come on. I was going to say, let's press forward. But now that they've dropped another pile of zombies on me again, I'm very tempted to just run away, go home, <laughs> be done with things. Here's what's going to happen, though. If I die, then I'm going to take care of the worm off camera. And we'll load back up at some point. Right. Doors you can actually just talk to. exhausted from all these boss fights just over and over like this is what four weeks running that's just been boss fight after boss fight after boss fight <laughs> What is the shape of this room? It is electronically locked.
you look like you're going to be a save point. Carlos. Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Manager's Diary April 25th. Today is my 30th birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I am very happy because the work environment is very different from life in the university. May 14th. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system, since it is not 100% stable. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I am getting extremely frustrated. Amen to that. <laughs> July 16th, we can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th, though the function of the system decreases, the number of bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Give me that key. Diaries and books. Oh good, a first aid spray. Ink ribbon. Alright, I was making sure that's actually a door and not like some closet or something. So apparently I get more bullets if I do like AAB, um, but Bs are kind of rare. Do, 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 do. That's not the button I meant to press. There we go. We are now set up for success next time. Please, Resident Evil, give me a week without a boss fight. <laughs> oh. All right. So, yeah, we're calling it here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for dealing with me getting frustrated at this game. I really... I'm... I'm, I'm seeing why Teenage Me didn't like this game. And part of that was that I played on easy and they just handed me every gun ever. And part of that is just like, this is ridiculous. Just how this has been a boss rush. And uh, yeah, Resident Evil, like classic Resident Evil bosses are not great. Like the best one, I think personally is the crocodile. 
anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening. <laughs>